Hail denizens, it is I, Martino Jinx, and this is a Waking Realms update. Top ball. Uh, okay, so doing things in a video format because I have almost no free time to be able to coalesce my thoughts into text. So here we are. I'm in my Technomancer robes and we're going to have a little chat on the state of the realms. Uh, Heimdall, unfortunately, is blind right now, so he was unable to attend. He couldn't seem to find the address. So let's just go through a couple of things. One, COVID update. Hope you guys are all staying safe, staying sterilized. No, your hands, not yourselves. If you want to have kids, that's your thing. Anyway, um, yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, stay the hell home. Play some video games. Doesn't even have to be ARK. Be anything else. I myself burned myself out on ARK about a month ago. Um, which is why you guys haven't seen me a whole lot. Uh, I've also gotten some 3D printing. You guys have seen some of the photos I've done. Um, but I will be coming back. You know, I just need, I, every once in a while, I go into my own Odin sleep. And I get some rest. Because um, ARK is a big part of my life. And sometimes, like big parts of your life, you just want to ignore it. Um, but I haven't ignored everything. I'm still working on stuff behind the scenes when I have moments of free time. I've got two three-year-old toddlers, uh, going absolutely batshit crazy, um, at home. Anyway, so, uh, outside of the COVID update stuff, we have a lot to go over. Okay, so, some of the things that we will be going over today, Crystal Isles, our yearly mod review, Upcoming yearly wipe in September and some other house cleaning. Um, gonna try to keep this video about 10 minutes long um, or shorter. So if we run over, I'm sorry. Crystal Isles. Well, hey guys, Lost Realms are back, baby. We started the Waking Realms with the Realm of Change. Oh uh, God, it's been it's been over almost a year, almost two years. Um, we started. Uh, the Lost Realm storyline with Crystal Isles, with uh, Necros the Fallen, the uh, the Dark Elf Necromancer. Well, guess what? We're coming back. It's been a thousand years. Necros hasn't been there. The lands have healed themselves in the time the Necromancer has been away. But what has the Necromancer been up to, you might be wondering. Well, you will be finding that out in the Convergence Part 2. Now, I know that I was supposed to get that radio play out about a month ago life happened. Um, but with the announcement of Crystal Isles, I was able to rework the story a little bit to bring our favorite necromancer back. And um, yeah, so you guys can keep an eye out for that uh, on launch day, which is June 4th. Now, some housekeeping that's going to come along with this. June 15th, Genesis will no longer be a full-time rotation map. And what I mean by that is that Genesis is such a cool um, kind of side piece. <laughs> I don't have a better way of putting it. Um, and, and it's good because, you know, you've got goals, you've got PvE goals. So we're going to do things a little differently f up until September. Genesis is going to uh, open up on Fridays at noontime and will close at midnight on Sunday. Um, now, I know what you're asking yourself. What about my stuff? Because that's all that you care about. That's all that everybody cares about. It's okay. I'm not wiping it. So, in saying that, you can leave your dinos, you can leave your bases over there. They'll be safe throughout the week. I mean, the server will be shut down. Your dinos won't even eat any food. Um, and like I said, it will open up Friday to Sunday. Um, and that's because I do want to keep that slot open. Um when we don't need it. So, uh, what does that leave us moving forward? So, Crystal Isles will open as soon as the map is available, as we do here in Waking Realms Land. Um, transfers are subject to whatever Wildcard's doing, so if they choose that they're going to have this kind of like a, like a DLC instead of a mod map and block um, stuff coming in and out, uh, we will respect that. Uh, but historically, Valguero, Ragnarok, 
full transfers were available. So expect full transfers right off the get-go. Um, I will be kicking up some additional marketing to try to drum some additional people over. It has been a real difficult time in the Jinx household recently uh, in terms of time. Kids aren't going to school. Wife is trying to get uh, you know, bring some additional income. I'm having to do a lot of double duty as, you know, I'm a daddy. I'm also, uh, also run the server. I also work a full-time job. I'm very fortunate that I have not been affected, um, by all of the craziness that's going out there in the world. And I do want to extend my, um, my hopes that you as well have not been affected. Um, Moving forward, um, next thing we're coming up is the July mod review. We are going into June, which means that during June there will be two surveys coming out. One, what mods? Uh, one is about the existing mods we have and any that you feel that could be taken out of rotation. Uh, please understand that superstructures will not be coming out of rotation um, initially. I know that uh, it's been a little weird with superstructures, whereas Orion Sun discontinued doing S plus and then recently came back and did an update um, and integrated platforms plus and a bunch of other stuff. Um, if it was easy for us to, uh, it was easy for us to migrate from S plus to superstructures. Not so easy to go backwards. So for those who are interested in wondering why we did not just stay with S plus in the first place, there's a lot of things that were broken, tech feeding troughs, a bunch of other stuff. Yes, Orion Sun has gone back and fixed that, uh, but he has taken away the open source nature of his mod. So we don't really know what's going on. So until we get to September, um, we do not have um, really any roadmap or hard answer for you on how things are going to go. Um, rate changes. That'll be another part of the second survey. Rates that you like, rates you think that could be a little bit faster. Uh, constants, I will not be going nuts with the breeding speed. I'm letting you that know that right now. Get it out of your head. It's that it's dialed in. It works. We're good. Um, some stuff that'll be coming along with that. I have been, whether you're not, you know or not, I still have been slowly building uh, our custom beacons back up. Um, it is a very difficult task and a lot of new items have been added with Genesis, some items that weren't even complete, like the tech binoculars. We're going into all that. Um, it's a little bit early to say, but there will be, there will be some, some changes being made. Um, uh, what's next on our thing? Sorry. Long day. Um, so yeah, so you keep an eye on that. Uh, yearly wipe, thing that everybody always cares about because you care about your stuff. That's great. Um, our last wipe was September 14th, 2019. Uh, as such, we will be respecting what I said at the time would be a yearly wipe schedule. All right. So that means is we're going to get through our mod reviews in July. We'll have a test server open during the week in August for you guys to actually test out the things that you have requested. Uh, I haven't chosen which map it will be at this point. It might be something as silly as Dodo Island, just so we have a basis for comparison. Um, at which time, yes, July 1st, we will wipe. Uh, subsequently, map saves will be available shortly thereafter. Um, some other additional updates, the APIs, the wonderful little things, the widgets that work behind everything and you don't have to even download a mod for. Um, there have been some updates. The actual API architecture has updated. I have not updated the server yet. It's something that I'm going to do on a server by server basis. The first server that will be getting that will be Crystal Isles. It'll be getting the new API update. It'll be getting the new weekends rate update, um, API update. And we'll also be getting the auto decay back. The wonderful auto decay that kind of just committed subku on us a few months after starting using it. Uh, that we had to roll back and remove and anyway, rebuilding the whole thing. There's a new version, should work fine. Um, and that's about it. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to put it in the, the subreddit below, or you can ask it just in the general Discord in the Waking Realms chat, and I'd be happy to answer anything. Uh, if you guys have any serious concerns, feel free to DM me. That's what I'm here for. Um, 
there'll be some additional notices. Um, one of the things that we're, we're you know, constantly trying to figure out is time availability um, for our admins. Um, Doug's in university and myself and Lonnie both work full-time jobs. So marketing becomes a little bit more of a difficult endeavor. Um, and marketing is how we get people to join. So do your part. Um, tell a friend if you find a place that's safe to post and you're not going to drag our name through the mud, reach out to us. We got, we have uh, already pre-filled in text we're willing to share with you guys so you guys can get people to come and play with us. Um, oh, one last thing. Network. I understand I've been getting some reports lately of people dropping out on their networks. Understand people, I have tested uh, my up and down speed, my latencies on the server. The server is fine. Um, there are times of the day right now with so many people being stuck at home, local networks get bogged down. Um, so uh, uh, case in point, Rowan constantly disconnects and that is nothing on his, he has great speed when he's connected, it just drops out. There's just a lot of congestion on the network. So understand, um, I take any report that comes in about network uh, health and stability very seriously. So um, know that anytime you guys pop that by me, I run a... Uh, just a bunch of tests. Um, we're good. We are good. There, there are some times during the day that we also, that, you know, we do get bogged down, um, but it hasn't really kicked anybody yet. Um, at the same time that I've been able to figure out. Um, so yeah, you guys are good. With that, I will uh, close this with a a chant. Oh, who the hell am I kidding? I'm not gonna do a chant. I'll catch you guys around the realms. We'll have, like I said, we'll do another video when I have, well, some free time. Take care.